Hello, welcome to the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ASP.NET Maker. My name is Benjamin Fadino, and uh, on the screen, my contact details are displayed. In this course, we shall be uh, developing a sample uh, simplified banking application using SQL Server and ASP.NET Maker. So uh, in lesson one, I shall teach you how to install SQL Server. So welcome to lesson one. Lesson one is on how to install SQL Server. Now, for you to install SQL Server for software development purposes, you can do so on the internet. So let's fire up our browser. So I'm going to search for SQL Server 2019. Now, I'm going to click on this link that says SQL Server 2019 Microsoft. After that, after the page has displayed, I'll click on the downloads link. Again, I will scroll down until I locate the portion of the page that says, or download a specialized, sorry, or download a free specialized edition. So I'm going to download the developer edition. I'm downloading the developer edition because it's a full featured free edition. License for use as a development and test database in a non-production environment. So I click on download now. Now the download is completed. I now click show in folder. I right click on the installer file that has been downloaded. I click on open. Uh, in the user account control dialog, I'll click on yes. Now, under select an installation type, I'll click on download media. Now, the language I'm, I'm selecting is English. If, then, which package would you like to download? I will, I will select ISO. Then, I will select a location for the downloads here. But I'm going to leave it in the default location. So you can change it if you so desire. After that, I'll click on download. Our SQL Server setup file.
has finished downloading. This is the original disk image file, the original ISO file that I downloaded. I extracted it using WIRA, and so it generated this folder plus its contents. It is now time for me to begin to, re to, to install SQL Server. So I'll open this folder that has been extracted. I'll right click on Setup. I'll click on Open. In User Control, User Account Control dialog, I'll click on Yes. Then I'll click on installation. Then I'll click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. In the window that briefly displayed before coming here, there was a there was what we call rule check. Now, in order for SQL Server to be installed on on a computer, the computer must pass certain rule checks. Failure in a particular rule check means that installation will will not be possible. You will have to successfully troubleshoot that particular issue that is occurring on your computer before you can successfully install SQL Server. So uh, what happened is that for the first rule check, SQL Server either passed all the rule check or just gave warnings. Installations, installation can go ahead if you have a mixture of uh, successfully passed rule checks and warning on certain rule checks. But remember, a single failure on a particular rule check will prevent SQL Server installation. So now I click Next. I don't want to check for updates now. But it's advisable that you always do. So I click on Next. So installation rules. This is the second rule check. Also, here we have three passed and one warning. If there was a single failure here, installation will not continue. Will not continue. So we have to, we will have had to troubleshoot uh, the rule and ensure that the status of that rule changes from fail to either passed or warning. But thank God we have a uh, uh, we have uh, three passed that one warning so we can continue next so here now i want to perform a new installation of sql server 2019 so i leave it there i click on next now here i can either specify a pre-edition or enter a product key if i have product key so here i'm specifying a free edition now there are three Three editions you can install. You can install Evaluation Developer Express. So I'm installing Developer. I click Next. Here I will check the I accept the license terms and privacy statement checkbox. I click Next. Then here you choose the insta the SQL Server features you want to install. So here I will be installing uh, database engine services, SQL Server, replication, 
okay i'm i'm good with those two for now so i click next um when installing sql server you can either install a default instance or a named instance a default instance is the sql server instance that shares the same name as your computer name now the name of the computer on which i'm installing this sql server is bfadino now i've already installed an a a default instance called bfadino so i cannot install it again unless i uninstall it so on a, on a computer you can only have one default instance of sql server at any point in time but you can have as many named instances as possible so because i've already installed uh, the default instance on this machine i'm not going to install a named instance let me give it a this name, Bukoloa. So that's going to be the name of my SQL server named instance. So I click next. SQL server, now the service accounts that I want to use. Uh, these are the default service accounts, okay? I want to change. The service account. I'm going to use for the installation. So I click on advanced here, click on find now. Uh, looking for network service, click on it, click on OK, click on OK. Yeah, also click on advanced again. Find now, look for network service, click on OK, click on OK. For SQL Server agents, I'll change the type, startup type to automatic. For collation, I'll leave it in the default. I click on next. Now for authentication mode, so specify the authentication mode and administrators for the database engine. Authentication mode refers to how we are going to connect to SQL Server after we have finished installing it. We can either use Windows authentication mode. This authentication mode uses the Windows credentials of the currently logged down window user to log you in into SQL Server. We can use mix mode. Mix mode is actually made up of two uh, authentication modes. You choose one. So in mix mode, you can either use Windows authentication or you use SQL Server authentication. For SQL Server authentication, you have to specify a username and password when connecting to SQL Server. And if you are going to if we are going to use mixed mode, we need to specify an initial password for the system administrator account. The system administrator account SA is an SQL Server authentication uh, account. So I'm going to select mixed mode here. So we specify an initial password for the system admin account. Also, we are going to add the current window user as a system admin. So click add current user. 
under specified SQL Server administrators. Uh, let me click on this file stream star. So let me enable file stream. Enable file stream. I'm going to also allow remote clients access to file stream data. Next. Now, finally, we get to the screen where the installation dialog says that we are ready to install. So I click on install. At this juncture, you can now grab the cup of coffee while SQL Server is being installed. So finally, installation of SQL Server has been completed successfully. So now I'm going to click the close button. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to install SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server Management Studio allows us to, to connect to SQL Server. It is this tool that we use to connect to SQL Server to do whatever we want to do on SQL Server server instance. So I'll click on install SQL Server Management Tools. not going on that page. Let me fire up uh, Google Chrome. So I'm going to search for SQL Server Management Studio. So I click on the first link. Click on download. SQL Server Management Studio. Now, the setup file for SQL Server Management Studio has been downloaded. It's a It's an ISO file that I've also extracted. Now, this is the extracted file. Now, to install SQL Server Management Studio, I will right click on the ISO file that I've extracted, the file I've extracted from the ISO file using WinRAR. I'll click, right click on it there, I'll click on open. So under user account control dialog, I'll click yes. Now, when you look at this, the bottom of the installation dialog, you see three options, repair, uninstall, and close. These three options, they appear because I have already installed SQL Server Management Studio previously. So, but in your case, you just continue to follow the instructions until you have successfully installed SQL Server Management Studio. So, 
I will now click close. So we have come to the end of the lesson on how to install SQL Server and the tool we use to connect to it, which is called uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So in the next lesson, we shall see how to connect to SQL Server. And then we shall also create our first database and we shall create the first table in our database. Thank you for watching.